All right, here's how to export a thing with source ops. You make a collection for your reference objects. You make a collection for your collision objects. You name your material to, you, you have to make the material yourself. It doesn't export your blender material, your cycles material or whatever to a VTF and VMT combination set of files. So you have to make it yourself, then name your blender material as the path to your VMT relative to the materials folder of your game. So in my case, model slash example slash thing, because this is a thing, so I called it thing. Then in source ops, uh, you press N, uh, you can see that in the corner here, what I'm pressing to open this panel. Here you can have several add-ons. Well, one of them is source ops. This thing is two blender units. That translates to two hammer units. That's quite small, so I'm going to scale it up 32 times. Um, I will add my game. Up. Rounds to momentum. Up. So the path should be the full path to gameinfo.txt. And you can browse it with this. Then I add my model. To call this example slash thing, I click, I choose my collision and reference things, collections. Um, body groups and stacking are more advanced features, uh, so I'm not going to go over that right now. Surface, I'm going to make this some sort of metal because the textures indicate that it would be. These are sorted the way that they're sorted on the wiki, uh, so not super helpful, but I'll find it in here eventually. Surely there's something that's just called metal and nothing more. Oops. Excuse me. Metal. There we go. Sounds good to me. Um, this does not have any thing like gloss or something translucent uh, or alpha tested. This is purely solid, so I'm not going to take this. I don't feel the need to take auto center because I'm happy with where the model is located. Uh, surf tools and the material importer are for a different video. So don't worry about that. I'll export the meshes. It does it. I'll generate the QC. That works. I'll edit the QC just to show that that's a thing now. Go to scripting, pick it. Ta da! Here's the QC file that it generated. Well, uh, it looks great to me. So here you could add CD materials if you wanted. Because right now that's how it's done. Or you could change body to model, or you could add texture groups. So it's quite useful, I think. I'll compile it. It compiled successfully. I'll click view, and it will not work. But I'll show you that the physics model is there. Um, the reason why this particular model is invisible is because it's using the PBR shader, and Half Life model viewer does not show it. I can open it in hammer for you. So let's see. I'll need the hammer with this version of the game. Create a new map, perhaps. Give me the brush. I would like the top view, yes. That works for me. There we go. Put down an entity. Move it over here. Click it. Uh, prop static. And then for the world model, I put it under example. Ah, of course. It isn't going to show up in this hammer because I compiled it 
for this game. So I'll have to move it over to my development version of the game. Should take a second. Oops, I put it in materials. That's not what I want. This one needs to be in models. And as for materials. Sorry for the hold up, but I don't want to redo the video now. I might as well finish what I started. Oops, this should go in models. There we go. Okay, hopefully now I can example thing dot mdl hmm. not quite it is example thing dot mdl there we go Ta -da. it's quite dark in here because it's very metallic Uh, and the cube map, the default hammer cube map I have set up is very dark because I haven't bothered to fix it. But anyway, that's uh, how you get an asset from Blender to Hammer in Source Ops.